So mesothelioma is an area of uh, ongoing great interest. We've had a lot of interest in using uh, immunotherapy in patients who've had chemotherapy and have then relapsed. We had the PROMISE trial, which unfortunately did not show that pembrolizumab improved overall survival or progression-free survival uh, uh, compared to venerolbium. But there was a higher response rate, and perhaps uh, patient selection has got something to do with um, who benefits from that. In the confirmed trial, my colleague Dean Fennell uh, demonstrated that giving uh, nivolumab post-chemotherapy versus n- best supportive care is associated with a clear progression-free survival and overall survival uh, advantage. And in fact, the performance of nivolumab, I would argue, is actually pretty similar to the performance of pembrolizumab in the uh, PROMISE trial. So we have consistent efficacy of immune checkpoint inhibitors in the relapse setting. But what's really changed matters is the Checkmate 743 trial, which uh, my colleagues and I uh, presented previously and have published in The Lancet. And this really demonstrates that in upfront setting, patients randomized to receive nivolumab, ipilimumab, a combination immunotherapy, have a greater survival compared to patients with standard uh, chemotherapy. Now, if you look at different subsets, you can clearly see that the performance of immunotherapy is exactly the same, regardless of the histology. So immunotherapy performs exactly the same across all histologies in mesothelium. What's different is that with the non-epithelial and subset, chemotherapy is very little activity. And so in that group, immunotherapy is definitely the way to go. You can be, you can argue a bit more about the epithelioid uh, subtype, but you know, when we look at the three-year survival data, we are seeing a higher three-year survival rate for patients uh, randomized to receive immunotherapy. Remember, the trial was not powered to detect the difference between different subtypes, so we can't comment all we can talk about is the ITT population. But certainly if you look at the quality of life, the quality of life is markedly improved with immunotherapy rather than the typical traditional ongoing deterioration we see with chemotherapy. So on that basis, uh, uh, I'm a strong advocate of first-line immunotherapy for PS0 to 1 patients as per the the, the trial data. And at the BTOG meeting, my colleague uh, Paul Bass also uh, confirmed uh, that intention. Uh, now, this indication is currently with NICE. I do hope that NICE and the manufacturer of BMS comes to some agreement to allow this uh, technology to be a- available uh, for uh, patients where I really do hope we can uh, demonstrate the benefit in real life as we have done in the trial. So watch this space with the NICE uh, uh, ongoing deliberations.